Let me tell you, we have plans, but God is the one that can make the impossible possible. He can push down Jericho walls. He can open the Red Sea. He can shut the mouth of lies. Somebody needs to praise him this morning. I'm talking about the Spirit of the Lord. I'm talking about the Spirit of the Lord. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon the preacher, he can preach. When the Spirit of the Lord comes on the teacher, he can teach. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon the singer, he can sing. He can preach the glory down. They can sing the glory down. The Spirit of the Lord. Listen, I'm jumping ahead. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, Noah can build an ark. Moses can stretch forth his rod and the Red Sea open. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon someone, Elijah can speak to the heavens and they shut up for three and a half years. Oh, when the Spirit of the Lord comes upon Elijah, He can take his mantle and strike the waters of Jordan and the waters will open. When the Spirit of the Lord came upon Elisha, he took his mantle and struck the same waters and the waters opened because of the Holy Spirit. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon Elisha, he can say, give the people that they may eat. And God took a little bit of bread, multiplied it, and fed 100 men. That's what can happen when the Spirit of God comes upon you. Woo! When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, Joshua can speak and the sun stands still. Daniel can rest in a lion's den. The Hebrew boys can turn a fiery furnace into an air-conditioned respite. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, Samson can take the jawbone of a donkey and kill 1,000 Philistines. When the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, a blind Samson, his head had been shorn, his strength taken from him. Oh, but his hair grew back because the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. And a blind Samson could tell a little Philistine boy, bleed me to the columns. He walks up to the columns puts his arms around those columns and he said, God, anoint me one more time. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon the man of God and Samson pulled those rocks and slew the Philistines. He gave himself his life. Peter's shadow can heal the sick. When the Spirit of the, your shadow is greater than all the demons in hell if the Holy Spirit is on you. Woo! Your shadow, your shadow, your shadow, your shadow, your shadow, your shadow. shadow. Hallelujah! Paul can shake off a snake. But if the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you, like it did David, David can kill a lion. David can kill a bear. And David, as a teenage boy, can say to that old stinking giant, you no count, uncircumcised Philistine dog, who do you think you are insulting the God Jehovah? You come against me with a sword, a shield, and a spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord God of the armies of Israel. Woo! And that little 17-year-old arm, you know, they, 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 right now, we got a few pitchers in baseball. They can throw that baseball over 100 miles an hour. That's fast. But when the Holy Spirit came on that arm, little rock, it wasn't a big old, just a rock. 
when the Holy Spirit came upon that arm. That arm got infused with a power greater than jet fuel, the power of the Holy Spirit. And when he flung that rock, it got faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. You see, the faster something travels through space, when it hits something, because of the speed it picks up. Woo! Woo! And there stands that giant, nine feet tall, covered from head to toe with armor except one little spot. The Holy Spirit always hits the mark. That just popped into my head. The Holy Spirit always hits the mark. He'll tell you what to preach. He'll tell you what to sing. He'll tell you what to teach. He'll tell you who to witness to. When the Holy Spirit comes, took that little rock, and the Holy Spirit can't see it with the eye, guides it like a rocket. And that giant sneering, laughing. Who do you think you are, you little pit squeak? Shoom! <laughs> Woo! And there goes the champion of the Philistines. Because the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. And David ran, ran. When you plug into the Holy Spirit, somebody's gonna run. Ran. Jumped on the top of the carcass of that dead Philistine dog. Yanked that helmet of his off. Pulled his sword out. Chopped his head off. Picked his hair up by the head, held the bloody head. And then the Bible said he stood on him. Stood on him. Because he had a little note. <laughs> Devil, I'm sick and tired of your lies. And I got a message on the bottom of my... I'm going to lord it over you. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. <laughs> devil, devil, see what I did to your champion. Devil, that's just a preview because 2,000 years ago, at Calvary's cross, Jesus Christ defeated Satan. It is finished. Yeah. Woo! Talking about the Spirit of the Lord. I'm not going to get to my sermon. I'm still in the introduction. 